Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Scott. And I'm Mark. We are your Screen Machine product support team, and here's another quick tip. In this video, we have a 612T trommel that supplies a 612T or the 612W wheeled version. What we're going to go over today is tail pulley uh, belt tensioning on this, uh, this side stacker belt. So this is the fines belt where the tail pulley here, this goes out the opposite side of the machine. Your material comes on the unders belt and then comes onto this fines belt and ejects on the other side there. So we're going to go over how do you tension this belt? What are these bolts back here for? What's a take up system? What does it mean? All that, all that fun stuff. So we've got our tail pulley right here. It's our wing tail pulley for our, our fines belt here. We've got two take up bolts. I've got an inch and a half wrench on me here. So what, what happens is the two take up bolts go through a slide right here that you have a square nut that's held in that slide. And then the bearing, the bearings which are on the bottom side, you've got a shaft with the pulley that connects both sides. And then you've got a bearing there, a bearing here. And each one of these bearings is bolted to the underside of this slide. So when I take this wrench here, turn it to the right, what that actually does is pull this whole pulley this way. So because it pulls the bearing this way. So we're actually twisting this whole pulley back like this when I tighten that side. When I tighten this side, it does the same thing. If you, want to, if you want to need to go the opposite way, I want to take that bearing that way, you loosen it. So what you want to do is you really want to just use this just for taking up the slack in the belt and evenly tensioning the belt. You don't want to really use this for tracking unless it's a, a last measure. You want to use your, your uh, troughing idlers to track on the head pulley and your return idlers to track on the tail pulley. Um, this is really just it's supposed to be used to evenly tension that belt back. So what you would do, you'd get the belt to where, where you believe you're properly tensioned, where you're not, not pulling off of the return rollers or the, or the idlers and you've got nice even tension on that belt. Take a tape measure and then measure your gap in between this um this slide and um, this slide over here between that slide and the back wall, that slide and the back wall, take a tape measure, make sure you're even, and then run the run your new belt and then track accordingly.